What's up guys, my name is Joey and in this video we will be discussing the play to earn game pizza game. I believe it came out around 5 days ago so that might be interesting for you maybe to invest in. Now what is pizza game? From my understanding pizza game is highly inspired by cookie clicker and cookie clicker used to be a auto clicker game whereas for example you click on the cookie to gain another cookie and when you have like 5 or 10 cookies saved up you can buy a cursor and with the cursor it will basically automatically click on the cookie for you to generate generate more cookies and with more cookies you can like upgrade your cursor and probably uh, purchase some tools in order to gain more cookies and basically progress like that uh, within the game and pizza game is basically the same it's a blockchain game on the ethereum and it uses the uh, avalanche on chain so you can purchase chefs in order to generate the pizza uh, token so it is basically a staking game guys i'm personally not really interested in that and i will try to explain you guys why that is because the only utility is staking and they created the game around that utility right staking so it is more appealing for the audience to stake their currency but it it's only staking right especially when it's in an within a automated environment then it doesn't really have a lot going for it right but let's go into it right guys uh pizza game so this is the website first of all welcome to the pizza game 10,000 gen 1 chefs minted with pizza five percent chance to mint a master chef 100 of pizza from gen 1 mints will be burned take up to 10 chefs at once in a level one pizzeria so basically you as a player need to manage a pizzeria you have to purchase chefs nfts in order to stake them into your pizzeria and those chefs will be creating pizzas which are the pizza token so that's basically how the game works now there was essentially gen zero chefs which there are only 10,000 of and in gen one i think that's unlimited because you will be able to purchase gen ones with your pizza token so that has to be determined yet i believe or is there also 10,000 max that uh, hopefully we will read about that later minting chefs now requires pizza you can mint up to 10 chefs in each transaction i can't do that now i think i need to connect my wallet i'm not gonna uh, purchase chef guys i'm not interested in investment but let's continue the website can we find anything about their team because that is important for me as an investor i want to see who i'm in investing in and i think you should do so too because if you don't know who's working behind the project then why would you <laughs> why would you invest any money into them why would you give them your hard-earned money right it doesn't make any sense especially in a world as the crypto world in the nft blockchain uh, environment where so many scams rock pools and cash grabs happen each and every single day i don't think you should compound your own risk by investing your money into a team that you do not know it makes a lot of common sense to me but it still happens a lot within the space so do whatever you want to do but it's uh, i would highly suggest you just staying away from games that don't have any team right and I can't find anything regard their team. I can't find any LinkedIn profile hyperlinks. I can't see any faces. I don't see in an about tab. So maybe they have that information showcased on their Discord. That's what I hope for. Because if that's not the case, then I'm already highly concerned because I'm not going to invest my money into a team that I do not know. So let's take a quick look, guys. Do we find anything? Members, we can also check their hype. There's not a lot of hype around this game, which I would already expect, guys. It's an auto clicker game. Let's be realistic here. It's not like a vast new mmorpg that everyone is excited about like for example elder ring that came out recently but it's an auto clicker so uh, we have to take that into consideration as well right guys not a lot of hype this will probably go up a little bit but not too much guys like there are not a lot of people interested in a auto clicker game but yet again let's continue okay. here we can see that the uh, gen zero mint has actually been sold out gen one mint is live so maybe it's a time limited uh, so i can only assume that the gen one mint is uh, time limited okay guys so there's like a certain certain time for gen ones to be minted with your pizza token and then it will go on to gen two and that's basically how they uh, do their gen sales right guys you need to verify rules okay announcements that's also a nice thing to look at are they showing any development or future development because that's what i would like to see instead of like giveaways and selling their uh, nfts right because that will be a little bit concerning for me personally i think this is a partnership i guess kahoot friday pizza game featuring chicken kahoot is a quiz platform and the events will happen on the pizza game twitch okay there are some uh, announcements on the game some partnerships we have partnered up with note beers nft yikes 
Okay, um, anyway, not a lot of game development going on, more so with partnerships, some small maintenance. That's basically it, right? I can't see anything about their team, maybe in the link section. Let's check that out. Website, white paper, medium, Twitter, UIC, multisig. I can't find anything regarding their team. Roadmap, yeah, this is again, It's uh, this is very lazy, guys. If your roadmap consists of like a one simple infographic, then it's not really a roadmap. That's my opinion. You can have yours of course if you find this a perfect roadmap then okay then that's your opinion but from my perspective a roadmap should be way more detailed than this it should host clear dates on when you think you will be finished with a certain task with very strict detailed deadlines in my opinion and also a way more in-depth description about what they want to do for example in march more features to pizza game expand our team ama like it doesn't really say a lot right more features to the pizza game what are those features you might have an idea already then please write them down or write a few down into more detail so your audience know about them right they can already fantasize how how that's gonna be or how that's gonna look like but with more features to the pizza game it's just a shallow sentence that doesn't hold any value if that makes any sense right so it doesn't really say a lot transition to pizza game 2.0 what is that transition i have no clue how do you expect me to know what's going to happen if the information has not been given to me like the, the same issue i had with my previous video that I did about Champion Ascension, they don't really show a lot of information. Now there's a lot of hype around that project, so people are invested into that project, so there will be a lot of fanboys, but when you criticize that particular aspect, you're gonna get some some hate, but it's a fact, guys. We don't see a lot uh, about their future. We can only see the current state of the game, and that's just a simple auto clicker where you have to manage your pizzeria in terms of staking. Now I'll try to explain you guys later why that's not something that's really interesting as an investor, but we were trying to find their team how to invite community content slice of pizza rating ama fatigue per minute okay so they have a fatigue system it's the same as bomb crypto if you guys know about that that's a game that i actually tried to get my feet wet within the automatic staking gameplay world basically so comparing it with that game i already know that i'm not going to be interested in this game but still guys i can't fight anything regard their team like your chef share your meme price talk good morning share your pizza now there there's nothing known about their team guys so that's for me is already a no-go because i can't find their team i can't find any information regard their team i'm not gonna give someone money that i do not know simple as that but regardless let's let's take a look at their white paper as you step in the door a warm and smoky scent hits your nose you can't help but have your mouth water as you smell one of the most delicious meals one can ever have welcome to your very own pizzeria all right what is pizzeria game pizzeria is a avalanche on-chain game inspired by our favorite childhood online game cookie clicker to play pizza game you must purchase a pizza chef and stake them in the pizzeria chefs are erc7 nfts and produce pizza every minute when staked since pizza is an erc20 token it can be traded on in popular exchanges like trader joe so basically guys you have to buy an nft you have to stake them within your pizzeria in this case it is a pizzeria uh, they will earn a, a token for you by creating pizzas and they will have a fatigue so within a certain amount of hours they will rest and then you have to come back on online to uh, have them work for you again as they when they're over their fatigue it's basically the same mechanic as bomb crypto and there are many other of these type of games out there i've actually tried this game to see how it is for myself the thing and the biggest flaw of these type of games it's not really fun to play first of all there is not much of gameplay going on because you stake your nfts and they automatically produce the token for you you don't have to do anything you only have to log in click on your characters to work for you and that's it it becomes highly tedious especially when you have a lot of accounts working for you in order to gain the maximum revenue for yourself it becomes very tedious because it's not a lot of work like you have to log in and click your workers to work for you it's not a lot of work but the fact that you have to be very consistent with it makes it very tedious and not very long lasting if that makes any sense i didn't last long with bomb crypto i think i hold out for a week and then i was absolutely done with it and it's not fun and in my opinion in order for a token or nfts to go up in value especially when it's a game the gameplay is king guys the gameplay is the most important thing for a game to be successful yes or not it makes common sense but still within the nft space it's not always the case right because the sentiment is that you can make money with everything which is not really uh, the truth one of the most important aspects of these type of games is the question basically can it hold the long term 
And in many of these cases, that's not the case because many of players will fatigue into logging in every single day, clicking their NFTs and basically do the same thing over and over and over again. It's not fun, guys. So that's it. That's why I'm not interested into the pizza game because it works the same as Bomb Crypto. And we can see the, the graph of Bomb Crypto. This is Bomb Coin, yeah. It's, it's going absolutely uh, down now. Of course, the whole market is down. A lot of projects look like this way. Eventually, the interest in these type of games will die out. The thing is, like we are quite new within the NFT blockchain slash gaming space. So everything that comes out new, it's going to be a little bit exciting to, to try out for you guys, right? And including myself. Like I had fun trying out the Bomb Crypto game because it was new for me back then, right guys? And whatever is new combined with the blockchain, I'm going to try out. But eventually a lot of more competitors will enter the space, right? And a lot of bigger and more fun to play games will come on the market and there will not be any space for these type of games anymore, guys. It's going to become highly competitive and in that regard i believe that gameplay is king bomb crypto wasn't fun for me eventually and i think pizza game is not going to be fun for me neither because it works the same way now let's look at the pizza token graph real quick yeah it's not looking quite good it's only five five days old guys so we can't really we don't really have a lot of data to show you guys anything the problem with a lot of these games is that the token is being created in a sort of compound way like for example you purchase a chef or you purchase 10 chefs you can also buy two tools in order for your chefs to produce more pizza token so the token production rate compounds rapidly in a rapid state so eventually a lot of these pizza tokens will be created and it will basically influx the market by a lot so that's why you see the graph like the pizza token right here if you haven't set up your burn mechanics right then it's gonna be very bad for you right now of course those things can be balanced out you can have new burn mechanics implemented into your game to really balance out that rate guys but you have to monitor that quite heavily in order to have a very balanced uh, game but i think this is going to continue down guys but let's read further over time a player can purchase tools from simple items such as pizza cutter to more complex items such as a pizza portal and much more these tools increase the player's array of pizza production the goal is simple cook as much pizza as possible collect more tools and chefs and dominate the pizza industry yeah right okay so uh, 10,000 chefs available to mint uh, but this is regard the gen zero i believe if i'm not mistaken for 1.5 evex which is around $120 guys again whenever I try to relativate these type of things I have an issue because imagine a steam game with an auto clicker and their in-game shop provides in-game characters for $120 plus like would you buy into that probably not you will instantly uninstall the game now it's a little bit unfair for me to state that right because I understand it's on the blockchain it's a different type of thing because it's an investment vehicle for some people you can earn money with it so it's not really that simple but like it's still an auto clicker guys like who cares in the end of the day about an auto clicker i can only guess that's not many people chefs can be staked in the pizzeria to cook pizza just be careful not to overwork them additional 10,000 chefs can be minted using the in-game currency pizza and 25 percent of the revenue will be used for the pizza avex liquidity pair on trader okay so they have thought about their liquidity pool that's a good thing of course the last thing you want is your liquidity pool to dry out so they have done that i've read this before for the liquidity pool they have soda fountains and with the soda fountains you have to stake for the liquidity pool that can be traded on trader joe right that's that's how that works they also had some information about how they burn their token it's right here a regular chef's cook one pizza per minute while the master chef cooks three pizza a minute when you can claim the cooked pizza 10 percent of it gets burned and 10 percent goes to the freezer more on that later each chef gets fatigued as they work non-stop cooking pizza the higher the pizza production ppm the faster these chefs are fatigued yeah that's it's basically the exact the same thing as bomb crypto guys it becomes really tedious for a chef to recover it needs to be on stake and then rest for up to 12 hours depending on the fatigue while recovering the chef does not cook any pizza so basically if you log in air any every 12 hours that's basically what you have to do it's a little bit less tedious as bomb crypto because bomb crypto i believe is like every hour whereas pizza game becomes every 12 hours but again guys you have to decide this for yourself if you find this interesting but to be honest do you think this holds any ground for the long term how much gameplay is there going on within this game it's not much you buy your chef nft you stake it within your pizzeria and then it creates pizzas for you automatically that's it it's a staking mechanism disguised within a game right now let's continue to read pizza pizza is an erc20 token that can be used in game to buy chef tools and chefs or be traded in public exchanges like trader joe all chefs cook pizza forever which means pizza does not have a maximum supply 
Yikes. However, pizza is constantly being burned when player claim pizza in the pizzeria. Mint tools, mint gen one chefs and unstake pizza from the freezer. So that's a reason why this rev looks like how it is. Self-reported circulating supply is at 95 million. Is that right? Yeah. Where's the total supply? Well, there is no total supply because the maximum supply hasn't been described and will never be described. That's bad. That's not good. Because if we look at bomb crypto, bomb crypto has a maximum supply of 100 million. Eventually it has some sort of a scarcity if they would develop the game a little bit better because yeah, not many people are interested in, in the game anymore because who cares? It plays for you. It's not really fun to play, right? There's no gameplay going on. So eventually the interest will die out and it becomes very tedious to log in every single time uh, to let your characters work for you, right? It's it's not fun at all. But at least it, it creates some scarcity for the token whereas for pizza it has an unlimited supply so there's not any scarcity going on whatsoever. 25% of the gen zero minting revenue will be used to add liquidity on the pizza AVEX pair on Trader Joe so this currency can be traded right away as the game starts. Now the thing is the foundation is okay. For these type of games uh, they've thought about their burn rates, they've thought about their liquidity pool, they didn't think about a maximum supply for the token to create scarcity but okay it's decent right it's 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 what it is. For what it is it's okay. The foundation has been laid out. Tier 1 pizza peel, every chef's best friend when cooking pizzas. Tier 2 pizza cutter sharp and precise. A chef equipped with it can become dangerously efficient pizza box finally no more burning customers hands with it you'll serve your customers in a much cleaner manner in terms of design guys the pixel art looks quite good it's not bad at all freezer you can stake your hard-earned pizza in the freezer to get pizza even faster whenever a player claims pizza in the pizzeria 10 percent of it goes to the freezer as a flat tax you can stake your pizza in the freezer to get a cut of those taxes suppose you want to defrost your pizza on steak from the freezer in that case you have two options slowly defrost your pizza making sure you you minimize your losses or do it in a hurry losing most of the benefits so basically burn again it takes two days to defrost pizza from the freezer using the slow method and 10% of it will spoil if you want to defrost in a hurry 25% stays in the freezer as a flat tax and 25% will spoil soda fountain the soda fountain is where you can get soda to start earning soda you need to create a pizza avex liquidity pattern trader joe and stake the lp tokens in the soda fountain so that's basically how they resupply the liquidity pool on trader joe right guys the more LP tokens you stake, the more soda tokens you get. Soda is an ERC20 capped and deflationary token inspired by chicken game that complements the pizza token in the pizza game. So this is a graph on how that should look like. The idea is buy chefs and cook some pizza, stake your pizza AVEX liquidity pair in the soda fountain to farm soda, improve your pizzeria and buy tools using soda, and use pizzeria skill points to produce even more pizza and repeat. So that's basically how that works, right guys? Soda has a maximum, maximum supply of 50 million so the soda does have a maximum supply now if we find the soda token on corn market cap what can we see soda token right here oh there's not any data okay so it hasn't been implemented yet improving the pizzeria the pizzeria can be improved by using soda all pizzeria start at level one and require a set amount of soda to level up each level provides a skill point that you can spend on improving your pizza production each level requires more soda making it increasingly more difficult to get skill points skill points can be used to increase Increase your PPM, decrease fatigue, increase the number of chefs staked, and allow you to use certain chef tools and so on. This is how their skills look like, where you can, you know, upgrade your skills, and that's it, guys. So overall, it's a staking game. Okay, an automatic staking game. There are many of these type of games out there already. Like one example that I showed you guys before is Bomb Crypto. I've played this game myself, so I know how these type of games uh, play like. You have to really figure out yourself if you find that interesting, yes or not. Like the only thing that might be interesting for you guys if I would want to invest in this game which I don't want to because there's no team for me but let's say there was the gen zero chefs might be interesting because they are limited and they produce the highest rate of pizza tokens right guys uh, but overall for me their design looks okay their pixel art looks looks nice I have to admit that but if I have to ask myself the question do I think this game holds ground for the long term I have to say no because I have laid uh, bomb crypto before it becomes very tedious is uh, the gameplay is not really fun because there is no fun mechanic to click on the character to work for you automatically and then log off again it doesn't really add much of course it can become different in the future maybe like if they add like an entire social hub to it and becomes pizzeria metaverse where you can do a lot of things then it might be a different uh, thing but i don't think they're gonna do that as far as i know there's only one guy working on it so to be very honest i don't expect a lot so i'm not gonna invest in it i don't think this game will work 
out on the long term. Short term, sure, could hold some potential for a flip, maybe for a certain uh, NFT or maybe when their soda mechanic comes out. Overall, the most important thing for me personally as an investor, I want to see the team guys like it's not that hard. An about tab is sufficient enough with a hyperlink towards your LinkedIn page. They'll be, they'll be the best. And that's it. I want to know who you are before I give my money to you. It makes absolute common sense in my brain before a lot of other investors within the space or gamblers or whatever you want to define those people. It's not as much of common sense. So do your own research if you find this game interesting, yes or not. And remember guys, be a leader in this space and do not be a sheep. Peace out.